Dear student, right now I am going to discuss problem number 1.316 from IE Rodeau Fluid Mechanics. I hope you will understand this concept and use whenever it is required. Now, two horizontal manometer pi tubes. This, this is first one, first tube and this is second tube. Now, let's see how will you calculate the water flowing per unit time water vol find the volume of water flowing per unit time it means this is the rate of flow first of all you should understand how to solve this problem here we have a pipe we have the two points where you need to find out the flow for the flow what do you need let's see volume of the water flow that is called rate of flow I can write here, this is called a rate of flow. I can denote it by Q. Now that will be rate of volume of water flow per unit time. Now you know volume is whatever displacement is. d upon dt displacement into not displacement here it is s is area i can write let small displacement is dx and per unit time that is in delta t now i can write it area is constant suppose that you can't change it and dx by dt that will be velocity this is the formula of rate of flow anywhere you can apply in fluid mechanics. Now, but how do you calculate this rate of flow? Area we already know. We want to calculate the velocity here. How do you calculate the velocity? We should use the Bernoulli's theorem as well as equation of continuity. As incoming mass is equal to outgoing mass. It means mass is constant. You can use equation of continuity. Equation of continuity that is s1 v1 let velocity over here i can write v1 velocity over here i can write v2 s1 v1 is equal to s2 v2 s1 s2 is cross-sectional area here now in order to calculate v1 or v2 you can utilize this equation in future one more thing here before applying the concept of Bernoulli's theorem, you need to find out two points because Bernoulli's theorem need two points to apply, two position. Let this is the one, this is the two. Let's see how to apply this here. I can write horizontal pipe in horizontal pipe. H1, H2 will be same. That's why only Bernoulli's theorem concept you can use of density. I can write here rho at point 2. I'm just comparing one point with 2. Then I can write half rho v2 square plus pressure at 2. I can write p2 is equal to half rho b1 square pressure at 1 i can write p1 pressure at 1 i can write p1 and pressure at 2 i can write p2 now i can take half row common and inside the bracket v2 square minus b1 square is equal to p1 minus p2 p1 minus p2 now further you can solve it what is p1 minus p2 this is the pressure difference let pressure difference i can write here if area is less velocity will be more if velocity area is less velocity will be more velocity will be more pressure will be less that is bernoulli's theorem concept you should apply area is less here velocity is more than pressure is less pressure is less that's why it will rise less 
but air area is more velocity is less that's why pressure will be more this is also the concept here you should remember difference of the height i can write let this is h1 this is h2 according to question difference of height i can write h2 minus h1 that i represent by delta h so i can write here what is the pressure difference that is rho g into delta h simply now rho rho will cancel out and what will you get let's see that will be of v2 square p1 square is equal to g delta h this is suppose that equation 1 as in equation of continuity i can find out the value of v2 v2 i can write that will be s1 upon s2 into v1 now put in equation 1 it become half into v2 is s1 v1 upon s2 minus square of this also square of this also v1 square is equal to g into delta h now again how do you calculate the value of v1 you can take half v1 square common inside the bracket you have s1 square upon s2 square minus 1 is equal to g into delta h now i can write the value of v1 that will be under root of two g delta h whole divided by s one square minus s two square into take the lcm of s two that will be s two. This is the velocity you can calculate by using the Bernoulli's theorem. But here we want to calculate what rate of flow. What is rate of flow? Therefore, I can write Q is the rate of flow I denoted. That is area where you want to calculate that area. You should remember. And area I can write S one here because I want to calculate the flow over here. That is I can write S one V one. You can write this also. Then it will be s one s two. You can write together. And inside the root, you have two g delta h upon s one square minus s two square. This concept is also conceptualized directly applying the concept of Venturi meter. This concept in fluid mechanics is called Venturi meter. Venturi meter. Directly, you have to remember 